something. I mean, we cannot have a whole season of Kyle and Dorit not going after each other because the whole thing is that something is going to happen and they are going to go after each other. And here we are and they are going after each other. It's happening right now as we speak. So I can't wait for this. I want to see, you know, everyone is we 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 what happened to our Dory? What happened to our Dory? Remember back in the day, she didn't take shit from anyone. I mean, she hung Lisa Vanderpump out to dry without a blink of an eye. Everyone's saying they think PK is gonna re rekindle his friendship with Lisa and Ken because the British. The British society runs tight in Beverly Hills. That's what everyone is saying in my DMs. I kind of don't disagree with that. But um, where is that Doreen? Doreen knows how to bring it. And she got soft in the middle because she was afraid for her job. Well, girl, you saved your job. You're going through it with PK. You're separated. I don't know if it's going to work out. We all know that live in Beverly Hills and LA and Hollywood and West Hollywood that he's been at the Beverly Hills Hotel. We've seen it. We've heard it. Bring it, Dory. Don't sit there like a damn doormat because I don't see her hands flying around. Give it back to Kyle. Give it to her. Come on. That's what we want to see, right? I mean, you have it in you. We've seen it, Dory. I mean, Sutton, I think Sutton was carried the whole last season. You know, to Sarah's point, which is the thing I said I'm going to pick a bone with Sarah, on the live show, Sarah said these two things. And again, no question is off limits. So, all you shady motherfuckers who came and asked question after question after question, that is on the Patreon this Sunday I and mean, Saturday. I wasn't going to put it on Patreon. Isn't that the point of buying a ticket? We are doing another one and you can bring your own questions, but my Patreons deserve it. So Sarah said at the live show that two things that she heard from her reliable source. One, and I do believe this, is that Denise Richards will never be back on Beverly Hills because it didn't go well. She was drunk. She was sloppy. She was on something. It didn't land well. I believe that. I believe Sarah's source is very true. What Sarah for didn't really reveal is that Denise also has her own show. So they can't be that mad at her behind the closed doors of RHOBH. And the second thing Sarah says is that Erica Jane is rumored to be having a very, they're going to give her a hard time. They're very upset with Erica last season that she was closed off, that she didn't get in there, that she didn't express her emotions more, that she didn't show how she dated. And the producers were going to do Erica dirty this season. And I was like, Sarah girl, really? I don't buy that. Not because I like Erica, but Erica had her season two seasons ago, three seasons ago now. Um, doesn't look like anyone's coming for Erica in this clip. We haven't heard it. I disagree with Sarah on this. Sometimes these things about these reliable sources is, A, they tell you something just so you'll put it out. And so it's like, so they could see if they could trust you. And B, things change every day. So I don't believe that. But man, have you seen this clip? They are coming. Kyle is coming for Doree. Ooh, child. All right, so let's deal with, I'm going to save the Andy and Carol stuff. Okay, you know what? We'll just deal with the Andy and Carol stuff, okay? Is this going to make everyone happy? Um, So Andy Cohn, we know Variety, he's been doing a lot of speaking for someone that has all this stuff that's being said about him. So it came up recently, you know, there was this article on Andy, there was one negative quote, and it said, you know, an anonymous former housewife from New York who was fired. So it came up on Radio Andy. Andy was asked, and it was brought up, and Andy said, well, I know exactly who it is. It's Carol Raswell. And he's like, there are 16, excuse me, 18 reasons why it's Carol Raswell, he said. He said, you know, we haven't really fired that many housewives of New York, which, I mean, huh? I mean, Aviva's gone, Ebony is gone. Ramona, Luann, and Sonia are gone. Bethany is gone. I mean, we fired like everybody, no? Cindy Barsha, Jules. I, I mean, so I don't understand. He said, we haven't fired that many housewives of New York. You fired all of them, basically. But 18 reasons why we know it's Carol. He said, you know, he doesn't understand why it was anonymous you know, that she has spoken out many times on Twitter and come for him, which is true. And why would you just be anonymous at this point? Like, Carol doesn't care. So, but I know it's her. Um, and then he said uh, at the end that, um, you know, thanks for the quote, Razzie. And uh, 
I'm sure I'll be running into you very soon. It is, look, Carol is not a Hamptons girl. She is not out here in the summer. Andy is out here. He has a new house in Amagansett. He said he would never get rid of his old house unless a house became available on the water. A house did become available on the water. He redid it. He remodeled it. It's on the water in Amagansett, which is two towns over from here. And so he's not going to run into Carol in uh, out here, but she lives in Soho West Village area, and he lives in the West Village. I mean, they're both downtowners. Yeah, they could easily run into each other. So he said they're going to have a lot to catch up on, kind of like a veiled threat. And Razzie herself is not afraid and is not shying away. And Razzie has responded in a tweet you know, which I don't blame her. I mean, you know, he basically said like, see her, see a soon, which is kind of a veiled threat. And she tweeted, hey, Carol here. Someone can make a truthful observation and there's always one short-ish dude waiting to be offended. So she's referring to herself and the shortish dude is Andy. Hey, Carol here, emoji with someone raising their hand. Someone could make a truthful observation and there's always one shortish dude waiting to be offended. At this point, why would any normal person use their name? They're all so vindictive, which I believe is the point of the quote and confirmed by Andy's nasty response. So Carol ain't afraid. She's going for Andy. Andy's going for her. Is she the one behind this, you know, anonymous quote? Probably. But... I mean, to prove her point that she's not afraid of Andy and it's not an anonymous quote, she responded, I'm kind of here for, um, I'm kind of here for Carol versus uh, Andy. I'm not uh, bored of it at all. And I am here for it. You know, everyone is in uh, the Summer House cast. Most of them are overseas are overseas um what am i trying to say are overseas uh dealing with uh andrea denver's wedding and these talks are still resurfacing they're still surfacing about uh about um Kyle and Amanda. Sorry, I was like distracted. I was seeing if I could find this actually, if there was more on uh, Carol and Andy. There's a, everyone is saying that Kyle and Amanda are on the outs. And, uh, you know, when that's what we heard about uh, Mauricio and Kyle forever. So I don't know if it's true, but um, they say that they're headed for divorce. So I don't know if that's really true. Anyway, just a quick hit. You know, I'm thinking of doing this quick hit that I do. I'm thinking of making it a longer show and just working it into like maybe Tuesday. We have the two days with Sarah Frazier. We're not going to stop our uh, interviews, but these uh, these little quick hits are becoming longer and I can actually do a full show. So we might be mixing things up here and this might be an actual day of the week 